In this tutorial, we're going to discuss how to find the current mouse position inside your Pi game window. So you have a game and you want to interact with it using your mouse, like clicking on a menu, a button, or maybe moving your player, but you don't know how to get the current position off the mouse. So let's explore how to do that. Well, this is actually going to be a really short video because Pi game provides us with a very easy way of doing this. First, we need to understand that this event loop over here, this is just standard code that you see in every Pygame application. This event loop tracks all current events in Pygame, and that includes the mouse events. Every time you move your mouse, every time you click your mouse, or scroll your mouse wheel, these are all events in Pygame, and these all get registered in here. We just need to set up an if statement that checks for them, okay? So Pygame dot mouse and these are a few events there's mouse wheel mouse button up mouse button down and mouse motion mouse motion is the one we most commonly use because it gives us the you know it triggers it's an event that triggers whenever we move the mouse so i'm gonna do pygame.mouse.get pause and these are some other things we can do i'll take a look at them in a minute we can do get pause and i'll run this code here and this will give us our Pygame screen, which is empty, that, that's not relevant. I'm just gonna move it around here and you can see that it keeps printing out values based on where I am in the screen. Okay, see down here. All right, cool, right? And we can also do get rel, which is relative movement. So it's like if I'm here and then I move a little bit over here, you can see it's slowly giving out ones over there. I'm moving very slowly. Okay, move in the opposite direction, it gives you minus one in the X. Move down, it'll give you positive values because this is relative movement. And if you start moving really fast, you start seeing some really big values up here. Okay, so this, is, this can be useful uh, based on the type of application you're going for. And then you can also do get pressed, which tells you which, uh, you know, is pressed. And obviously this, is, this isn't this is very suitable to use with mouse motion. It's actually more suitable with something like mouse up, mouse button up, okay? Because, wait, sorry, mouse button down, I mean. Because mouse button down triggers generically uh, for left clicks and right clicks. You don't know which one it is, right? So we use this function, get pressed, to find out which one it was. So if I click here, uh, I click, I, I just click the right, no, sorry, the left key. So that gives us true in the first parameter and the other two are false. If I clicked on my right, on my right key, like I just did, then that gives us true in the third parameter. If I click my scroll wheel, then this gives us true in the middle parameter. Okay. So we can kind of understand that the first one is left, then middle, then right. Okay. So yeah, let's just take a look at one more mouse wheel. All right. So if I come here and then start scrolling, wait, sorry, get pause. Okay. So if I come here and just start scrolling my mouse wheel, okay. If I move, it doesn't trigger, but if I scroll, then it does. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video. We discussed how to detect different types of mouse events, get the current position, get the relative position, and get the current keys being pressed.